Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is September 6th and it's the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now let's stand up and praise God. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you You give us hope and life that's forever You make us bold and we stand together Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you We're off on this journey, there's no looking back With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise whoa, whoa, whoa. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus You're all, you're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you To lead us, we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord said, Ezekiel, you are a mere human, but I have chosen you to be a watchman for the people of Israel. So listen to what I say and then warn them for me. When I tell evil people that they will die because of their sins, you must try to make them turn from their evil ways. If you don't warn them, you are responsible for what happens to them. If you do warn them to turn from their evil ways, and they don't, then they will die. But you won't be responsible. The word of the Lord. Then we all say, thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Sing joyful songs to the Lord. Praise the mighty rock where we are safe. Come to worship him with thankful hearts and songs of praise. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Bow down and worship the Lord our Creator. The Lord is our God, and we are his people, the sheep he takes care of in his own pasture. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. Listen to God's voice today. Don't be stubborn and rebel, as your ancestors did at Meribah and Massa 
out in the desert. For 40 years they tested God and saw the things he did. If today you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, let love be your only debt. If you love others, you have done all that the law demands. In the law, there are many commands, such as be faithful in marriage, do not murder, do not steal, do not want what belongs to others. But all of these are summed up in the commandment that says, love others as much as you love yourself. No one who loves others will harm them. So love is all that the law demands. The word of the Lord. Now we all say, thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. And we all say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If one of my followers sins against you, go and point out what was wrong. But do it in private, just between the two of you. If that person listens, you have won back a follower. But if that one refuses to listen, take along one or two others. The scriptures teach that every complaint must be proven true by two or more witnesses. If the follower refuses to listen to them, report the matter to the church. Anyone who refuses to listen to the church must be treated like an unbeliever or a tax collector. The Gospel of the Lord. Now we all say, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, boys and girls. I wanted to show you something that I made. It's just a paper bag, but I put a face on it. And just for today, let's pretend that this is my friend Sally. Okay? So, I am going to say some very unkind things to Sally. And every time I say some unkind things that might hurt Sally's feelings, I'm going to blow a little bit more, a little more air into her. And let's see what happens. Sally... You are a slow runner. You're slowing down the whole team. Sally, your little brother is such a pest that I don't even like to come to your house. Sally, what kind of bike are you riding? That bike is so old and ugly. Now, boys and girls, what do you think would happen if I continued to say bad things to Sally? Well, she's just made out of paper, so eventually I would hurt Sally's feelings so much that she would just go pop. Well, the reason that I wanted to bring this up today is because in today's story, Jesus is teaching his disciples how they should talk with one another. And what he really wants them to understand is that they have to have good communication, good friendship in order to go out and do his good works. And um, the reason that Jesus told his disciples 
how to talk to one another is because he didn't want any one of them to go pop, just like my friend Sally. Obviously, the disciples are not bags, okay? And so here's what pop might look to the disciples, okay? They would probably stop talking to one another. They would definitely stop working with one another and they would stop being friends and they would probably go away from one another. Jesus wanted his disciples to know that they don't have to store up all of their hurt feelings until they go pop and then stop being friends. This is why Jesus is telling them to talk to one another even if it's hard, even if it's difficult, because we all know how difficult that can be. But staying friends is a good reason to practice what Jesus is trying to teach the disciples in the story today. But there's another important reason why Jesus wanted the disciples to stay together. At the end of today's story, Jesus says that whenever two or more of his disciples are gathered it's also where Jesus is. In other words, Jesus knew the best way for his disciples to be able to teach others what he taught them was to stay together and work together. In other later stories, we can see that Jesus' words worked. By following Jesus' teaching from today's story, the disciples were able to stay together and share with others the same things that Jesus taught them about God's love, forgiveness, and healing. The same thing is true for us today. When we follow Jesus' teaching from today, we are better able to stay together and work together in friendship. And that is the good news for today. You ready to pray? Let's pray. Now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty? Yes, I do. Do you believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, who teaches us how to live? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, grant that we share a good life with Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone in need. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. All right, time to get moving again with our closing song. This is the light of